What's up everybody, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the steps to daily uploading. This is going to be a simple video, but for the people that have a struggle of uploading every day, I'm going to share with you a concept that I did when I first started. And I didn't know I was actually doing this, um, but I did it. And I didn't have the numbers mapped out the same way. I didn't even map anything out. But uh, you guys are going to get the advantage of not only mapping out your success, but mapping out a game plan. And I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. So something that I like in this too is Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Uh, if you're familiar with Dave Ramsey, all his products, all his courses, if you put everything together, maybe you'd spend two grand with his website, right? But those are some life-changing products. And the way he teaches uh, change in life, whether it be paying off debt, whether it be, you know, things in marriage, things like that, it, he talks about gradual progression a lot. And he doesn't use the word gradual progression, but that's why he uses the term baby steps, a step-by-step -step approach. So I want you guys to think of this video as your step-by-step -step approach to figuring out how to consistently post every single day, whether it be on Redbubble, whether it be on Zazzle, whether it be on TeePublic, or any other platform. The reason why I say that, guys, is specifically if we can get over the hump where we start to get very confident in uploading every day, even if it's just one design, even if it's a bad design. We're still getting to the getting into the positive habit of doing something positive every single day. Not only is it good for our mental space, but it's good for progression in general, right? Something that uh, a very strong, will-powered man, his name is David Goggins. You could search him on the internet. You probably already know about him. He talks about the cookie jar. And what the cookie jar is, is when, in, when days where he's feeling tired, he's feeling unmotivated, he's feeling maybe a little bit depressed and, you know, essentially unsuccessful, he goes back into the cookie jar and he thinks, okay, I've done this before. I've done XYZ before. So if I've done XYZ before, I could definitely do this right now. And sometimes the motivation might be needed for going out and doing a workout. Sometimes the motivation might be needed to go have a conversation, a hard conversation with somebody he doesn't want to have, you know, situations like this. And so what I want you guys to think of this as a gradual progression. A very slow buildup, buildup not only of yourself in terms of your skills, but in your mental space. I think the reality, guys, is that we all have 24 hours and we all have the time to upload designs. The reality is, is we think of uploading a certain way. So hopefully this video is going to not only help rewire the way we look at uploading on, on these platforms, but we're also going to associate a positive emotion to these websites. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, we're not going to upload as much as we possibly can. If we feel unmotivated, we feel depressed, we don't feel ready to go in terms of a success standpoint. So let's go ahead and be motivated and let's go ahead and start off with just step one. And step one is creating just simply one design a day for 21 days. They say that a habit is created within 21 day periods, right? You do something for 21 days straight, it becomes a habit. We're going to go ahead and create just one design for 21 days. Let's be honest. Were there periods of time in your print-on-demand journey where you haven't done any work for 21 days straight? Let's be honest. Just be honest with me. Are there periods from the time that you started till today, whether it's one year, whether it's 10 years, were there periods of time of 21 days straight where you didn't create a single design? I'm sure there are. We've all been through periods like this. Well, this is going to help break that one design for 21 days. This is going to create a new low for you that no matter what is going on in your life, you can spend just a minute, two minutes, five minutes, maybe three minutes, you know, whatever the time is just to create one simple design for 21 days. You're going to create one design every single day. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into step two. Now, mind you, our new low is one design. So we don't look at one design like it's something that's difficult anymore. We're going to jump onto two designs for another 10 days, right? So right now we're looking at roughly a month. We're looking at 31 days worth of work, two designs, okay? And at this point, by the end of this whole, uh, you know, step one and step two, we're going to have th uh, over over 40 designs, right? Because we have 20 here and we have 21 here. So you're looking at 41 designs, right? But really what we're doing here for this period of time is we're 
easily doubling the amount of work, but not that much effort, right? If you guys know anything about designing, I've shown in the POD design course how I created 60 designs in a half hour, but we're not, we don't want to jump to high levels right away, right? We want to take things step by step by step. It's really unrealistic for, let's say, an addict, a drug addict, to hop off the drugs right away. There needs to be a weaning process, and this is for not just a drug addict, but somebody in just a medical care center, right? If there's somebody who's taking painkillers, and he's, you know, the person had a surgery or whatever, there's a weaning process. They don't just take them off the, off the pain meds right away, right? The same way we're, we're weaning upward. We're going into a gradual progression, right? So at this point, we've created one design a day for 21 days. Now we have two designs for 10 days. Well, now we're going to head into step three. And we're going to create three designs for five days. So this is a period of time where we're challenging ourselves a little bit. And it's going to be a short period of time. And I want you guys to make a mental note here that it's only for five days. Every single day that you struggle to create these designs, I want you to tell yourself, I want you to go back into that cookie jar and remember, you've created a design every single day for 21 days straight. You've created two designs a day for 10 days straight. There's no way you can't do this five days worth of work. Five days worth of work, which is only three designs per day. You can do this. And once again, guys, I don't care if the quality is bad. I don't care anything. Just get the designs done. We're not here to become, uh, you know, Leonardo da Vinci's here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create positive habits. The skills can come later. Right now, we need to create the foundation, which is going to be the habits to success. And one of those huge, huge habits are consistently uploading every single day. It's much, much better to be consistent than to be intense. And we can all agree on this. We can use the uh, simile of using the gym, for example. If we all go to the gym and spend 10 hours in the gym working out and we work as hard as we can and we come back sore to the point where we can't even walk or move, right? And we work out for 10 day, ten hours straight in one day. That's great, but it's not going to make a huge difference. But imagine if we took those 10 hours of, of working out and we spread it out through the period of, let's say, I don't know, 30 days or 20 days. Well, those 10 hours, I mean, that's that's going to accumulate into results over time right? Because we have time spread out. So what I want you to do is I don't want you to be intense with your work. I don't want you to skip any of these steps. If you have had consistency issues in the past, you want to stay with these steps. So here we have three designs for five days. Now we're going to get into step four, which we're actually going to go back into the five day process and create now five designs. Now you've already challenged yourself and you've done three more than what you normally do, which is three designs for five days. You can take this approach now and challenge yourself even further, create five designs in five days. Now I know this might sound crazy and for the people that are in a rush and, and want to keep going fast, stick to the numbers, five days, eight, five designs in five days, right? you're going to go back into your cookie jar and you're going to say, well, I went from one design for 21 days all the way up to three designs. I multiplied my work by three. Now, all I have to do is only five. I have to only add two more every single day to get to five, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create 10 designs for three days. So, 10 designs a day is going to be difficult if we're used to being doing one design, two designs, but we're not doing one or two designs anymore. We've done five designs before and that was for five days. Well, we go back into our cookie jar and we think, okay, we've created before five designs in five days. This is only for a shorter period of time. This is only three days. So this is completely feasible. So what we're going to do is for the next three days is we're going to carve out three days of time where we create 10 designs per day. We're going to do this. We're going to get it done. We're going to get them uploaded and we're going to achieve success. Right now, mind you, at this point, we're stacking win after win after win after win, which is the key to success when it comes to business, when it comes to print on demand, when it comes to anything is you stack wins, even if they're small wins. And if look how many days we've been stacking wins, three days plus five days, that's eight plus another five, that's 14 plus 10, that's 24 plus 21. That's uh, 40, 45, I think 45 days or something like that. Um, hold on. Here we have 21 plus 10, that's 31, 36, that's uh, 30, 30, uh, 41, okay, and uh, 41 plus 3 is 44. So for 40, so prior to the 44, we have 41 days of consistent hard work and success. We can go and think, okay, 
only three days we have to do this. Three days where we carve out a period of time, we dedicate ourselves only for three days to create 10 designs. Okay? So now we've amplified our results. We've amplified our work where we got to the point where we're creating 10 designs a day for three days. Well, guess what? We're going to oscillate. We're going to bring it back down. We're going to create 10 designs for seven days. And the reason why I do this is because I want you to increase your hunger. Now, this is going to give you a little bit of a mental break from all the push, 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 the pushing forward, but this is going to increase your hunger. You're going to get to the point where you're going to get bored with your seven designs. You're going to say, man, I want to do 10 designs, but no matter what, don't go up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to store that hunger up. We're going to store that motivation up, that willpower, that discipline, that, that desire to be great, right? Because that's what you're doing right now. You're creating a desire in yourself to be great. You used, you're going to probably tell yourself, hey, in step five, I used to do 10 designs every day. Now I'm doing seven. This is too easy for me. I want to go forward. And that's where we're going to jump into the next step where for the next 15 or for the next month, we're creating 15 designs per day. We're going to bottle up all that discipline, that hunger, that motivation from step six. And we're going to push that into step seven, which is the last step where that for a whole entire month, we're creating 15 designs per day. And at the end of the day, guys, if we can create just 15 designs per day. That equates to roughly 450 designs per month. And ask yourself this, how many designs are you creating per month right now? And the only way to know that is just to go look at your Redbubble account and just take a look at how many designs you have. Look at your design history. Do you have over 450 designs right here, right now? Well, you could do it in a period of one month, but it's unrealistic to just go from zero designs a day all of a sudden to 15 designs per day. It's unrealistic. We all know this. So let's go ahead and, and jump into where we do 15 designs per day for a whole entire month. Now, don't get me wrong. Throughout that month, you're going to feel a little tired in the middle. You're going to feel, uh, you know, a little depleted. You're going to feel a little unmotivated. But remember, go back into that cookie jar where you've done over, I mean, 50 days of work by this point, right? 50 days of work. You can do a day, one day at a time. You just take one day at a time here. And every one day, you focus the task at hand, which is 15 designs per day. You can break them up throughout the day where you do five in the morning, five at night, five in the middle of the day during your lunch break or something like that. You can uh, do seven in the morning, seven at night, or eight at night, right? You could break them up. But what I want you to do very specifically is take this very seriously. Because the reality is, is if you want to consistently upload and you want to see gradual success, well, it takes one thing, and it just takes consistency. So I know this might seem like, for some people, a joke. 15 designs, only 15 designs, I get it. But the reality is, is that when we're not consistent, we can't produce. And when we don't produce, we tend to disassociate with whatever platform we're doing. We get rusty. We don't think about the right way to tag, the right way to title, the right way to design. We don't think about all these things. We disassociate. So we're never really in there for long enough to truly understand and get in a good rhythm of success. And that's why when I say get in a good rhythm, I'm talking about, you know, where you create a design and then a few days later you see it sell because you think that it sells, you predict that it sells, and you have this good kind of um, intuition right? I call it Redbubble intuition or Merch by Amazon intuition. There were certain points in time where the more I was working on these merchandise websites, where after a certain point, I had almost this intuition, okay, this product is going to sell by this time. This product is going to sell by that time because I started to gain comfortability and I started to build a realistic gauge that would tell me things, right? So based on this design, okay, it's not that good, but you know what? It might sell once every month, right? Okay, this design is really good. It might sell once every, let's say, day, right, in the beginning, and then it might build up, okay? So different things like that, but I know this might not seem like a lot, but guys, I want you guys to think of it this way. You're not working up to 15 designs per day. You're working up to 450 designs per month. Imagine if you had an account that... For some odd reason, it just duplicated, duplicated, duplicated by 450 every single month. It increased itself by 450 every month. Would you take it or leave it? Most likely, you would take it. So let's go ahead and do this all together. It's completely feasible. It's completely realistic. And, you know, guys, if you're creating designs on one platform already and you want to get into a new platform, but you haven't found the motivation or the guidance to do so, use this video tutorial for the steps to utilize this as a game plan.
And the thing is, guys, throughout this whole process, I want you to know something is that the alphas walk from the front and they walk alone. When I say alphas, what I'm not I'm not talking about some, you know, big jacked guy. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the alpha wolves. They walk alone, guys. And you're going to be an alpha wolf, but you have to walk alone for a period of time. You have to know what it feels like to be alone for a little bit. And you're going to be alone throughout this process. There's going to be a lot of people who by day 7, by day 4, by day 3 even uh, you know, don't see a point in it, and they're just going to stop. And those are the people who are never going to fe- know what it feels like to move forward into something that they're not completely sure about, they're not completely confident about, but you got to realize that that quote-unquote alpha wolf, by the way, could be a female or a male in this case, right? That quote-unquote alpha wolf, right, can achieve success by doing it alone, by doing it alone. When I say alone, I'm not talking about God or religion or anything like that because I'm a believer in God and I believe that, you know, God has blessed us to be able to do what we want when we want and live the way we want um, and has blessed us with the blessing of red bubbles, Zazzle, etc. But what I am a believer in also is hard work. And um, I'm not, you know, uh, sh- uh, you know, disassociating with any kind of religious entity out there. But what I am saying is that... Um, We have the ability to control our work, our output. Um, And I think there are some some verses in the Bible and different books and things like that that talk about hard work, about, you know, how the lazy man will perish, I think it's called. And so there's a lot of different situations, a lot of different scenarios where uh, we don't believe in the true cause. And I always say this, but the reason why we give up is because we don't truly feel dedicated to the call. And when I say the call, I'm talking about the call to action. And this is a call to action. If you have a desire to get into a new platform, if you have a desire to maybe just start uploading consistently on the same platform, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different lives and we all have different requirements of us. Some people are taking care of their uh, taking uh, care of their sick parents. Some people are still in high school watching this, uh, which is there's nothing wrong with that. Some people have the requirements of of going to university. Just the other day, um, somebody commented, I think the name was uh, dance some, I can't remember the name, but the word, I think dance was in the name of the user profile, say hello dance or something. Um, uh, this person said they had three kids and they go to university and they're doing print on demand. And I said, you know, big ups to you because that's a lot of work. There are a lot of people from all walks of life watching this. And I'm sure that consistency can be a hard part because let's be honest, if it doesn't pay the bills right now, it's not the priority. And I get it. But over time, this will. If we consistently work, 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 we can get to the point where this stuff pays the bills. And so let this be a little bit motivation, a little bit discipline to just keep going forward. And it's not about being a champion, doing 100 designs in one night. That's not the case right now. Right now, we're just trying to be consistent with our work effort. Okay, so this is video specifically for people who either want to start a new platform but just can't wrap their end, or wrap around their head around how since they're doing other work and also for people who maybe have not been yet so consistent with the platform that they're working on now. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this video is beneficial and effective and uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.